Colorectal cancer is also known as bowel cancer and affects over 40,000 people a year in the United Kingdom. It's the fourth most common cancer, but the second largest cancer killer. If it is detected early, more than nine out of 10 people survive five years and more, but too often in our country, people are detected late and have a poor outcome. We want more people to be diagnosed early and to survive, which is why London Cancer is part of the National Cancer Vanguard spearheading a QFIT pilot study here in London. Usually when my patients come and see me with a change in bowel habits such as diarrhea or constipation or maybe blood in their stool, I have to refer them up to the hospital for a colonoscopy. This is a really good test but it is quite invasive for the patient. Now what we know in colonoscopy is that we do a lot of tests that come out as being completely normal and indeed on the two-week wait um, colonoscopy uh, service uh, where we're doing colonoscopies uh, to try and rule out bowel cancer, the cancer pickup is only 4%. What a QFIT test is, is a test done on a patient's poo looking for the presence of blood. It's a very sensitive test and we know that if there's no blood seen uh, on the QFIT test then this effectively rules out the possibility of bowel cancer. The study is based on two smaller trials published from Scotland which indicate that patients who have a negative QFIT test do not have bowel cancer. We are asking patients who are being referred urgently for colonoscopy to provide a QFIT test from home. In their pack, they will get a QFIT pilot information leaflet. It will help inform them as to whether they want to take part in the pilot or not, and also how to fill out the test. There's an actual sort of lovely diagram um, set of instructions um, on how to do the test. In the pack, they'll also get their test, which as you can see, a bit like a mascara really, pop it back in, very easy to use. And they will send that back to the lab for testing. We will then compare the results and check that the QFIT test predicts the outcome of the colonoscopy. If the pilot reproduces the results found in Scotland, it will allow us to use the test to rule out bowel cancer in symptomatic patients in England. This may stem the increasing demand for colonoscopy, which is putting great pressure on resources and should transform the way we are diagnosing patients with cancer in England. And it will mean in the future my patients won't have to have a colonoscopy, they'll just have this simple poo test that they can do at home. And this is what vanguards are here to do, to identify and test new ways of doing things so they can be spread out across the country.